the hanged man here showing up. So with the hanged man, improve your life. Always listen to your intuition. Wow. Always listen to your intuition. That's what we're getting with the hanged man. Okay, with the hanged man, we have the fool showing up. So there's a journey. There's that new path showing up for you. This is a new journey that you are to take, Libra. This is the do it now. This is the get moving. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading. This reading is timeless. Come on in here. I am an intuitive, empathic reader. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Libra, this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany, your friendly neighborhood tarot reader. Let's go ahead and jump into your channeled messages that I received. First off, orange. The color orange came to me. <clears throat> and this is symbolizing creativity, determination, success, youthful connections, um, masculine energy, the doing, the strategy, right? Also, for someone out there, I'm feeling that there is a little bit of depression happening. Um, you're not feeling like yourself. You're a little bit out of sorts for some reason. And I'm led to share that with you. Um, next, I received leveling up, study, right? Study, um, put in the work, what I received. The work, when you hear people say put in the work, right? And, you know, you have to earn your stripes <clears throat> in a specific field or in a group or at a company, a corporation. You got to put in the work to show you're dedicated, to show that, you're about this life or whatever this job is, right? Put in the work. What I feel is also missing from that particular conversation, from that phrase, you know, that cliche phrase, you have to put in the work on self. No matter what you're doing, no matter what industry you're in, don't forget the most important part of your life for any area of your life is to put in the work on self. Put in the work on self first and it will be much more fluid and natural and organic when you put in the work at your place of business, on your job, in your community, anywhere, for any part of your life. You have to put in the work for self first, right? Um, then there is, I'm also getting spiritual study, right? Spiritual study is what I received. There's a breakthrough. There's a promotion or a new job coming for someone, Libra, okay? Um, you're going to the next level in your work, in your business, in your career. Um, I'm also receiving mentor and coach, right? What I am seeing here so far that you do have... Um, you do have some other zodiacs in your reading, and we will get into that. So also, next what I received was co-creation. Um, as always, remember, the universe conspires to see you win, so co-create with the universe. The universe is within you, and you are within the universe, okay? Come into agreement. Come into oneness, connectedness with all things, all sentient beings, all sentient uh, spirits, right? Come into oneness, be connected, realize you are a part of all of it. Again, the universe is, is within you and you are within the universe. Then I also received body work. I'm feeling like some of you, for someone out there, there is movement required on your part, whether this is movement, um, physically or mentally, but there's movement that is necessary. So, also, put do some dancing, do some exercise, even Reiki healing to help that, that out-of-source feeling I was getting for you. Um, there are some trapped emotions that's causing pain for you, and this pain seems to be radiating in your lower back or your legs. For someone out there, try some yoga, some um, deep breath work. Um, someone is de breathing too shallow. You're breathing, so I feel like someone is chest breathing, and in order to get more clarity, get more healing. We have to learn to breathe 
in our diaphragm also. Fill up that diaphragm, fill up your lungs, up your chest. That is the proper way to breathe. The shallow breathing will keep you shallow. You won't be able to go deeper. For someone out there, I needed to say that to you. Next, I got the number three. So I'm feeling like with this three Libra, there is some group work that's happening. There's some celebration coming up. There's collaboration. Again, with the with the um, co-creation, collaborating with the universe. Also, this could be for someone that's someone out there viewing this is a life path three, or you were born in the third month. Um, also, there is the three days, three weeks, three months, or even three years. You might have been going through something uh, for the last three years. You could have even been in higher education in college in university for the last three years that could resonate with someone there is a shift coming for someone out there um in the next three days three months uh or three weeks right uh with this three i'm also getting growth and communication there is a sacredness with this three that i'm feeling for someone out there someone is really tapping into their sacred feminine their sacred masculine i'm also feeling that for someone Take this how it resonates, right? And lastly, I received do it now. Do it now. That was really strong. Do it now. Someone is procrastinating. Um, someone is talking themselves out of doing it. Um, and spirit wants you to know, no more delay. This is the right timing. It's important for you to make a move, right? That is what I'm getting for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, welcome. All right, let's get into the tarot. Let's see what the tarot wants to share with you, Libra. Okay. All right. We got something jumping out already immediately. Okay. Hmm. Some Sagittarius showing up in your leave, uh, in your reading, Libra. That could be anywhere in your birth chart. We will dig more into this. We will also get clarification and advice with some Oracle as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Intuition. Uh, something's being revealed. The awakening is happening for you, Libra. Right. That creativity is showing up for you. Too much. Too much. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the, I'm seeing the depression here. I'm seeing the out of sorts that I received in my channeled messages for you, Libra. Okay. But there is something that needs to be revealed to you. Um, there, I'm heavily receiving that you should be trusting in your intuition, breathing into your diaphragm. To release what your intuition has for you. To be able to readily hear your intuition and feel your intuition. Do that breath work, right? To open up the channel to receive from your intuition, right? It does not steer you wrong. It is unique to you, Libra. Trust it. Three more cards, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Lots of newness here. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. This depression, this out of source is very heavy on someone out there viewing this. Mm -hmm. there, but there is a new beginning, a new journey. Okay. So what, what we got here first? Let's get into it. Judgment. Believe in yourself. A new spiritual path or direction is opening up for you. That is the what I feel. The move now. Do it now. This is this spiritual path is opening up to you, Libra. Believe in yourself. And then we have we have um, the Queen of Cups showing up here. Believe in yourself. Trust your intuition. If something is opening up to you. It's no more. The mystery is 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 diminishing for you. Um, I feel like there is something that was. It has been not clear to you, but something's opening up to you. A new path. A new path you are to take. You will understand. Net coming. 
Okay, so in the next three days, three weeks, three months, you will understand this new path. You will you will see this new path forward opening up to you, Libra, um, moving in a new direction, moving towards success. Success, I felt with the uh, the color orange. You see, you, we have the sun, the horizon there, and that is the moving toward the newness, moving toward the horizon, moving toward the success. And then with temperance, I have here, this is, I feel like that is a part of that spiritual path, a part of that awakening that we have with this judgment card. Okay, Libra, what I'm feeling for you. And then this is what, what I'm feeling that you are struggling with. You're struggling with trusting yourself. Okay, Libra, you are struggling with being able to trust and hear your intuition with the high priestess. So it says, develop your intuition. Your intuition is the key to unlocking your dream. It's the key to unlocking that path forward so you can see that path more clearly. Where where right now it eludes you. It's a mystery to you. Where do you go from here? But when you begin to trust in your intuition, it will unlock the answers that you seek, that path forward that you are uh, taking and you it will be clear to you it will not elude you but you're with this this out of sorts this nine of swords this nine of swords that i was feeling for um in my channel messages here it is it's showing up this is the depression this is feeling out of sorts this is feeling worry this is this is a sign that for someone there's a feeling of fear or anxiety there's a feeling of lack or regret is what I'm feeling with this nine of swords. And yet the high priestess is here to show you the way out of that. To put you on a new path of new path of success. A new path of uh, releasing the doubt. Releasing the depression. Releasing the anxiety, right? That's what's showing up here with the high priestess. Coming back into balance. Being able to partner with your intuition. You and your intuition are on this, this journey together. Your intuition is meant specifically for you. It will not steer you wrong, Libra. For someone out there, you needed to hear that. You can trust yourself. I feel like with what has happened thus far in your life, there the regrets that you have, you feel like you cannot trust yourself, Libra. And this is not true. You can trust your choices. Just get deeper and more seated in your intuition, okay? And here we have the page of wands showing up for you. Okay, Libra. So this is the curiosity. This is learning yourself. This is you learning how to hear your intuition and trust your intuition and move when your intuition tells you to move, to do it now. Okay, so this page of wands is just confirming, do it now. Do it now. Get on the journey. Get back on the horse. Do it now. Explore what the opportunities are in front of you. And then we have the Ace of Swords showing up uh, under the High Priestess, right? So you will have clarity. You will have breakthroughs. This is the breakthroughs I was talking about in my channeled messages with this Ace of Swords. The breakthrough is coming for you. The clarity, the clarity that comes with the High Priestess energy, Libra. This is coming towards you. Do not uh, fight it. Trust it. When, you, when it comes to you, trust it. All right? It's not a mistake. It's not happenstance. Your intuition is unique to you. And then we have the hanged man here showing up. So with the hanged man, improve your life. Always listen to your intuition. Wow. Always listen to your intuition. That's what we're getting with the hanged man. Okay, with the hanged man, we have the fool showing up. So there's a journey. There's that new path showing up for you. This is a new journey that you are to take, Libra. This is the do it now. This is the get moving. This is the movement. The movement. Walking toward your success. Walking toward favor. Walking toward victory. Right? With the fool showing up under the hanged man. I love this for you. This is the new beginning, okay? This is the adventure. This is the new start, the full journey, and the page here, okay? And then we have the page of pentacles. That was the page of wands, Libra. The page of pentacles has shown up for you under the hanged man. And so what I'm feeling with this, this uh, 
opportunity that is in front of you to improve your life with this hanged man energy, right? The page of pentacles is showing up to, yeah, there is the development. You are, this is the leveling up. This is the leveling up that I received in the channeled messages. This is um, developing your skills. And those skills could be actually educational as far as uh, traditional schooling. But I feel more so leveling up your skill and the skill of self. Understanding self is what I'm feeling for you, Libra. We also have the Nine of Cups showing up here under the Hanged Man, okay? So that's the contentment you're looking for. This is the contentment you're looking for. When See, you have the Eight of Cups and then the Nine of Cups as well in this reading for you, Libra. When you start to walk toward what is meant for you, when you start to walk toward that sunrise, that victory, that horizon, walk toward the desires of your heart, you come into Nine of Cups energy, okay, Libra? And this is where you find satisfaction. This is where you find contentment. This is where... Mm -hmm. This is where you find inner fulfillment and joy when you start to actually move, move now, move now, and you get to the desires of your heart. You get to the satisfaction. You get to the joy. Okay, Libra, this is beautiful for you. What I'm, uh, um, There is the Sagittarius energy, so that could be somewhere in your chart, Libra. Okay. Okay. But this... It is super important for you to understand, Libra, sun, moon, rising. It's time to move. It's to, things will be revealed to you with this queen of cups and this high priestess energy showing up in your reading. The path forward, the path forward will be revealed to you, Libra. Okay, trust your intuition. Develop your intuition. It's key to unlocking your dream. The, your intuition is key to unlocking your dream. Your intuition is key to take you to the Nine of Cups moment, to take you to the inner fulfillment, the contentment, the satisfaction you desire in your life, the joy. This this page of wands and the Nine of Cups for me is absolutely important for you to get. For someone, yes, for someone out there, it is time to learn how to trust your intuition. You must learn to trust your intuition, develop it, get, get seated in it, get comfortable with it because this page of wands helps you along this journey to nine of cups, along your journey of success, along your journey of contentment and inner fulfillment. Okay, Libra, that is what I'm getting for you. Let's get a few more cards out to get some more understanding. Okay. Okay. It's a new journey. You're a, you tr trust yourself. The regrets happen. We all go through things in our life that we wish we did not. The high priestess is showing up again. This is this is important for someone out there with this high priestess showing up twice in your reading. Okay. It is important for you to understand your intuition is so important. You're feeling out of sorts. The block is happening because you are not developing your intuition, Libra. Someone out there is not developing their intuition. They're not practicing uh, meditative um, practices. Taking time to get still and get quiet. This is how you develop your intuition. This is how you're able to unlock your subconscious mind. This is how you remove the mystery. So for the high priestess to show up twice, spirit is telling you. No, I want one more. Spirit is telling you, Libra, it is important. Your intuition is the key to unlocking your dream. It is important. It is the key to unlocking your dream, Libra, okay? We have judgment twice. We have the high priestess twice. These two major arcanas have shown up twice in your reading, Libra. The high priestess is twice. The intuition, that is the key to your dreams. 
unlocking your subconscious mind, having the wisdom of your soul released to you to get clarity, to get focus, to know the path forward. So the high priestess twice and then judgment twice. Okay. Judgment twice for you, Libra. There's a rebirth. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning for you, a rebirth for you. The judgment card has shown up twice for you. Libra, there's an inner calling. That inner calling is your intuition. That inner calling be helps you to move toward your dreams, Libra. Okay? And then we also have the King of Cups here for some more clarity. For someone out there, you are very generous. And you have to start to be generous with yourself is what I feel. For someone out there, you must begin the generosity with self. Growing up, I've always heard my grandmother say, charity begins at home. You must be generous with yourself, right? That is not selfish. That is selfless. Taking care of self, generous to yourself, to your emotional well-being. The King of Cups is, is great emotional balance. The King of Cups is very generous. The King of Cups is in control of his or her life. There's no gender attached to this. I feel like because the masculine energy that I was feeling, this, the King of Cups has shown up to reiterate that. The doing, doing of being generous to yourself Okay, Libra, but there is something unique to you, and that is your intuition. There's a rebirth coming. There's a rebirth coming to you, towards you, Libra, but you must listen to your inner calling. With the high priestess, that is your inner calling. That is your intuition. That rebirth that is happening with the judgment card showing up twice, and then the fool card, these major arcana. There's something major happening for you, Libra. But you got to sit in your intuition and trust your intuition. Drop the regret that I'm feeling with this Nine of Swords. With that mental anxiety, with this Ace of Swords, you are going to have clarity. The breakthroughs are happening for you, Libra. Right. Let's get final advice from Spirit. I'm going to use the Shaman's Dream Oracle for this. Give me a single card, Spirit. For our beautiful, dedicated Libra. If you are here to the end of the video, you were absolutely meant to see this. I, I appreciate you. I'm excited for you. Do the work. Put in the work. Putting in the work is more than just for your job. We have to put in the work on self first and foremost to allow our path, our journey to unfold in front of us for all the other areas and aspects of our life. What we have here is Cosmic Womb, the Divine Feminine. So it's interesting. With my channel messages, I was receiving masculine. I was receiving masculine energy. Here's the balance. Here's the Divine Feminine. All of us carry Divine Feminine energy and Divine Masculine energy. I was feeling the masculine in my channel messages. And here comes the feminine showing up for you. This is the harmony using both in a balanced way, divine feminine and divine masculine creates a harmony in your life. It, it creates a healing in your life. It, it, it also um, promotes, it promotes cooperation. Remember, at the, at the top of this reading, I was saying cooperate and collaborate with that three. Collaborate and cooperate with the universe. The universe is within and the universe is without. Everything you need. And so the fact that the divine feminine is showing up in your reading, Libra, and I already channeled divine masculine, that masculine energy of strategy and doing, right? Move. Move now. Do it now. This is all coming together. This is divine connection. 
that the divine feminine shows up in your reading, Libra. This is the harmony when you when you incorporate both energies, divine feminine and divine masculine. You incorporate both energies in how you live and be in the world today. You create that harmony. You create healing for yourself and those around you. You create more correct. Co uh, Excuse me. You create more cooperation, more collaboration, more celebration happens for you, more more victory. The expression of your life as a walking prayer happens when you combine and balance and harmonize the divine feminine and the divine masculine, Libra. I do hope that this has resonated with you on some level. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I'm sending you supreme love, light, and abundance. I will see you soon. Until next time, take care.